What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Whitetail. I would say Wednesday, but it's actually Thursday. I got busy, didn't have a chance to make the video, but in this episode, we're going to be talking about safety gear in the woods and what you should have and why you should have it. And as always, we're going to start with the shout outs. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. And thank you for leaving comments. I love it when you guys leave comments. I love to respond to you guys and uh, just have good interaction with you guys. So thank you. Can't say enough. Thank you, everybody that's subscribed. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. And make sure you hit the bell notification so you get every single update of when I post a new video. So like I said, as always, the shout outs. And I'm going to pull them up on my phone here. New subscriber, Dirty Hook Or, Chris Pritchett, sorry if I butcher these, C Bead Dipper One, Cynthia Allgood, Andrew Scope, Mad Cat 102, Fishing Future, and Nick Urbass. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough, honestly. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I know I'm repeating myself, but let's get into the video and not keep you waiting. Let's get after it. All right, everybody, so I want to start off the video with safety gear, okay? What you should have and why you should be using it. You know, nowadays there's so much safety gear out there, especially by hunter safety systems and everything. There is no excuse that you shouldn't be doing it the right way to stay safe. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, my stand's hung, it's secure, and I harness in when I get to the top of the tree. I used to do this. I used to be like, well, I harness in when I get to the top of the tree. But most of the accidents occur when you're climbing up to your stand or coming out of the stand. So I'm gonna go over what I wear out into the woods and why I think you guys should have it and I'm also gonna show you how these things work. I know we're not outside but you kinda can get the gist of everything um, and we'll go from there. Alright everybody so the first thing that I have on my list is obviously the safety harness itself okay. We're gonna go through this right now. Looks kinda complicated if you don't have one but it's really not. This is my safety harness. This is from Hunter Safety Systems. I bought this one because it's really comfy. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it in like a deal. But anyways, all it does is you throw it around like this, right? And then you have two buckles. Ooh, see if you can see that. Two buckles right here, right? And that connects like that, okay? And then, as you guys can see here, I know I'm out of the frame a little bit, but I have two buckles right here for the chest part, right? And all you do is you connect them, they're kind of waist level like this, right? And then you have what comes around your leg here. This one just comes up and it connects to this buckle right here, just like that. And then the same thing on the other leg, right? Comes up and it buckles, right? And then these straps on your legs are all, um, you can tighten them up once you get your harness on, all right? So you tighten them up. And then you have two loops here. You have one loop right here, and then you have another loop on this side, which these are gonna come in handy for your lineman's harness, okay? So, and then you also have your strap for when you get into the tree, okay? So, that is just my safety harness and how this works, and it's a, just a really nice harness. I really enjoy the thing. It's really comfy. You should always have harness when you're harnessed up there, because this right here, you'll harness into the tree when you get up there, and if you fall, this is what's holding you. Okay? All right, everybody, so I know I'm kneeling over into the camera, but if I don't tilt it, you can't see what I'm doing with the harness. But the next thing on the list is the lineman's harness, okay? Now this thing is a long cord, right? And it's got two, two of these on it. So what you'll do is, what you do is, you have these clips right here, right, on your safety harness, and this just goes through it, right? Just like that. And then, after you're through it, this strap will go around the tree. And once this is around the tree, you just bring it to the other loop that you have right here and you connect it right there like this. Now this is around the tree. So let's say you're working on a tree, right? You can go ahead and once you're working with the tree and you're trying to hang your stands or climbing sticks, this is around the tree so you can just lean back and this will hold you onto the tree. It's connected to your harness, you're not going anywhere. So your hand's free and you can work with your climbing sticks or your stand, okay? This is something that gets overlooked a lot and you definitely should have one. All right, everybody, so now for the last part. Now, the last part of this is this right here, right? And this goes around the tree itself. This is your strap for 
um, this right here, okay? So this basically goes around the tree, and then when you come around the tree, you take this end, and you just go through here, and then you run this through this clamp here, okay? And then you'll harness this to the tree so that this is up here above you. You wanna put this up high too. So now if you fall out of the tree or something happens, this will catch, your, uh, catch you so you don't end up tumbling out of the tree super far and hurting yourself, okay? All right, everybody, now I know this is kind of a quick video and we're going thing, through things a little quickly, but like I said, you know, it has never been easier to stay safe in the tree stand than it is now, okay? Like I said, safety harness is huge. You know, and then when you're using the biggest addition that I've had this year is adding in a lineman's harness um, while climbing. Now, I used to try to hang my stand, you know, I would do a lot of hanging hunts. So for me, you know, I'd be hanging my uh, ladder sticks and stand in the dark, you know, with my headlamp on, but I'd be like one arm around the tree, you know, trying to do it, using my mouth to like hold the strap and stuff like that and get it tightened down. And it just wasn't safe, you know. I started looking back on it and I was like, you know, it's really, you know, dumb of me to not use, uh, use, you know, the proper safety gear. You know, I'm getting up there a good 20 some feet and, you know, I could easily take a tumble, especially in the dark. So the big thing I purchased this year was a lineman's harness so that when I'm hanging my stand, I can lean back on that lineman's harness and I'm hands free. I don't have to be, you know, one arm around the tree, I'm hands free. So now I can use both of my hands to adjust the ladder stick and the stand and whatnot. So. The lineman harness has been like a huge deal for me. Now, I don't have one with me right now, but once you hang your stand, let's say you're going up the tree, you're throwing your lineman harness around as you get up to the tree, right? And then you hang your platform of your stand. What you're gonna wanna do before you transition um, and just undo the lineman harness and then jump into the tree stand is you're gonna wanna take this and harness this into the tree Connect yourself to where this is above the stand, then take the lineman harness and then transition into the tree so that you're always harnessed in while you're doing that. Once you're to the top, these uh, Hunter Safety Systems has this awesome, awesome rope that it's got a knot on there and I can't remember what the knot's called, but what it is is it slides up and down the rope, but the rope's so long that it goes all the way to the bottom, right, of the tree stand. And what you can do is when you get there, you can clip on with this, clip onto it and you can go climb your stand and that rope that'll just slide that knot will slide all the way to the top so then you're harnessed into your tree the whole entire time and if you fall and put any tension on that knot it'll catch you so look them up I'll leave a link to Amazon so you can see what I'm talking about it's kind of hard to explain without actually having one super super good idea you guys should definitely um, look into getting some hunter safety gear and I will link all this in the description as well if you want to pick up some new stuff all right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a quick one, but like I said, I don't have a lot going on right now because of everything that's going on. You know, we're just getting snow. The ice is just starting to come in good. So I will be ice fishing soon. This weekend, I'm gonna be out um, doing some uh, snowboarding. I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of people, I didn't know if you guys would be interested in a snowboarding video, but apparently on Instagram, a lot of people wanted to see a snowboarding video. So I'm going to be doing that this weekend. So get ready for a bunch of B-roll because I'm going to film a lot of that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, I will link everything in the description of what I just talked about. Be safe out there while you're hunting. There's no excuse and have a nice day and we'll see you later.